Hey guys, Wooly here and welcome back to the channel. As always, the usual disclaimer, any opinion here is mine and mine alone. This is a product review for CTRL or Control for those familiar with computers. Now, this particular video is going to be done in two recording sessions, meaning that this first part here is going to be just information about the company and some of their stuff. The second half of the video, when I get around to filming that, will be the review itself. Now, I will have, at the like, once I get around to posting the entire video, in its entirety, I will have the website for this particular, like, line in the description. So that way you guys can take a look at the what they have to offer and you can decide for yourself. Now, for CTRL and or control, like I said, I'm going to be using that interchangeably because it's like it's very much the same thing. Now, they're, I want to say that they are based out of the Midwest, meaning more like Wisconsin, because I've actually done a couple of orders from them from their website. And from what I was gathering, like, since both of those orders, uh, is that. It comes out of Wisconsin, and for me, I live in Illinois, so it's like, it's not going to take as long for me to get whatever I order from their website directly, as opposed to somebody who lives in, for example, Washington State, or Florida, or Maine, California. Those are just some of the examples right there, or even the state of Hawaii or Alaska. So it's like, you got to keep that in mind when it comes to like ordering from them, from their website. Now, their website's not the only place to get some of their stuff. Not all, but some. The reason why I mention that is because the, like, the edible stuff, like the, 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 sh the meal replacement shakes, the, pro the bars, the, the protein cookies, those you can actually get if you're in the U.S. I don't know about other places worldwide, but if you live near a GNC location, GNC being General Nutrition Center, you could go there and get grab like something like, from like by control over there. Uh, yeah, my no and my nose is kind of itchy, so forgive me. So, you actually have a good deal of flexibility with whatever you order from Control, whether it be from their website or from a GNC if you live near one. Now, um, in sense of like what the stuff is meant for, since the like the audience is like it's meant for gamers. But they also mention on their website that due to the ingredients they use, it's not meant for those who are vegan. It's also not meant for those who have varying allergies type to gluten. So it's like, and for them being that forthcoming in, on their website, it's like, hey, if you have gluten allergies, you can't have this. If you're vegan, you m might as well avoid it. That being, like, up front like that, it's like it's really good on them. That type of integrity will, like, have the, those who it's intended for coming back. So I really, like, that sort of thing, I'll explain more in the second half. Now, regarding their product line, is that you have your shakes, you have the, pro, like, the protein bars, the protein cookies. They have shirts and shaker cups. I mean, I'll show you... I don't have a control shaker cup. I'll show you, like, the fact that they do have some... Uh, let me rephrase that part. So, the website will show you the type of shaker cups that control has. I'm going to show you the ones that I have. And, like I said, it's not by control, but I do have one. Now, this is... um I actually have two of these. Um, It's from a company called Performa Perfect Shaker. So I have these, um, these are the ones I use for my stuff. So, and I kind of bring this up because uh, Control, CTRL, whatever you want to call it, they use a different style of a, of a shaker cut because it's like this one right here, uh, this one right here is like, the, the importance of this one's like, the, uh, like the, the spring-like mechanism is like, it's actually at the center and it's attached to like a plastic item in the center of this particular cup. Now, the, sh the the blender mechanism in a CTR CTRL um, cup, it's like, it's that circular thing where it's like you, can, you have a more range of motions, like, like, 
like that, whereas something like this is just like this. <laughs> and it's, it's something, you know, to keep in mind was it's like when you're ordering stuff that's like may not be the shades, but you know, but the shaker cups or even a t-shirt, so that sort of thing. Now, the t-shirts and the cups, I think you can only get on their website. But the edible stuff like the the protein shakes, powder, um, the cookies and bars, you can actually get those at GNC if they're available near you. Regarding packaging, if you're ordering from the from the CTRO website directly, you're going to be seeing some type of this, like, for paper in sense of, like, their packaging. And um, I'm going to, to address this in the second half. I don't want to mention it right now, but I do want to address something important about this in the second half. But you're going to see something like this along with a packing slip inside, you know, saying, hey, this is what you got from us or ordered from us. So keep that in mind. And these are the protein meal bars I was referring to a little while ago. So these are two of their flavors. I I know they have a third one, but I'm like, okay, let me keep like limit it to two, so that way I can like make sure I have other people, you know, try it and help me like with this video a little bit further. If that makes any sense. And I'm looking forward to trying these, like not on the video, but hey. You're going to be hearing it from me once I get around to trying these. Okay, so regarding for the audience, like I, I have to reiterate, if you're vegan or if you have um, a gluten allergy of any type, it's not recommended for you to try this at all. However, if you are vegetarian, you can. Now, regarding uh, some of their products, it's like it was it was right around the time I first ordered like the, the, the shakes and the protein cookies is that the bars were actually out of stock for a while. They did restock on a bunch of it as of December 2023, which means it's like they at least they're following through on their word. And that's that type of integrity is like thumbs up, like in my personal opinion. I will ex get into that a little bit more in the second half to be 100% fair. Now, um, regarding some of the flavors of the protein replacement shake powders, is that some flavors may recommend almond milk over water. The website says it's either or, depending on your taste. So it's one of those things, it's like it's really up to you, like in sense of what you want to use for it. Because it's like there's no one way to enjoy a protein shake. Meaning you can use almond milk, you can use water. It really comes down to your own personal taste buds. So on that, um, other things about the company. It's a relatively new company. They've been in existence since about Ju June of 2022. They And because of the, you know, that relatively new nature... They not only have room to grow, but they also have room to expand. And from their website, from my understanding, is that when it comes to the powder for the shakes, they do intend on doing the single servings as opposed to the two pound bags in the future. So it's like it gives more it gives people more to like choose from. And that is a definite step in the right direction. Now other things, I mean, I don't know what else they plan on doing, but a part of me does hope they do introduce more flavors on the edible side, especially, you know, with um, the cookies and the pro and the meal bars. So I do hope, you know, they do something more on that. I'm going to elaborate more in the second half. So on that, so let me see here. It looks like I'm doing good on time, so I'm going to end this part right here right now, so that way... I can, you know, review my notes, try out the meal bars, and then give my honest opinion. So, once I come back, it could be the next day, it could be later on this evening, it could be next month. So, just stay tuned, and once I come back, we'll know more from me. So, this is the second half of the product review video. It is 2024. Uh, I am not apologizing for this being so late, but I did warn in the first half that 
I didn't know when I was going to get, get around to doing the second half. So I'm at least keeping my, keep, keep it true to my work. So with that out of the way, I'm going to go into um, what I think about the product line, where I think it can improve, what I like about it, so on and so forth, a recap of everything. I'm going to finish it off with um, the scores again. There's the intended audience score and then there's my personal score. And they're going to be two completely different scores. Now, um, to um, emphasize on what I like, you know, it's just like there's their room for growth. I mean, they're doing more things in the future, which includes um, the protein shakes going into like single serve sizing instead of like the packets or whatever. And the reason why I really like this is because it's like, it's like, it's like what it is right now is just like it's just too much for someone to try. And it's like, mm, I just wanted a single serving, not the entire two pound bag. And yeah. So um, that's one like another like I another like you know it's like holding again they're a newer company they have like that room to grow, really grow. Now, um, one of, of, another thing I do like is when, regardless of where you get it from, like, especially if you're in the U.S., like online on their website or GNC, you can do a payment plan. And this, and the, and the thing is, there are going to be people who are saying payment plans such as paying full. The problem with that is, is that there are very things going on in the sense of like the overall workforce and then no two people have the same exact situation. There are people who are looking for work, got laid off for whatever reason. There are people who are struggling, you know, with their current job. They may go to, like, trying to find another job that pays more and possibly more hours. And then you got people where it's just like, they simply have too much going on financially and it's just like, they don't want to overwhelm themselves financially by paying for everything up front. So payment plans are always a good thing because it's like, you know your own situation better than everybody else. And for people to say, oh, you should pay all at once, I'm like, that could be a very big mistake because it's like, something could come up unexpectedly and like, you're probably be like, be raining yourself because it's like, you follow somebody else's advice instead of listening to your own gut. But anywho, there are payment plans available, like, regardless of where you get it. And like I said, I support that because I don't know every person's financial situation. So it's like, you really don't want to rule out the payment plan availability. Especially if people are willing to pay more over time as opposed to like paying it all up once you're, you're just saving too much. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. And I learned that the hard way. Anyway, now regarding the taste of a meal replacement shake mixture here, along with things like the protein bars and the protein cookies, it's quite sweet in taste. And the reason why I'm not very fond of this is because this could turn away those who are diabetic. Now, I place a lot of emphasis here is because the amount of added sugars. And I think for a company like Control, and just to reiterate, I will be using Control and CTRL interchangeably because it's the same thing is that when it comes to the amount of added sugars, it's just like one has to keep in mind their A1C. And that's all I'm going to say on that. That's the blood sugar levels. And if there's anything I could say that CTRL can really improve on, it's like making more flavors, but those that are more diabetic friendly. And I'd rather, you know, have options like that where it's like things are diabetic friendly as opposed to things that are 
Like, say to diabetics, don't touch this because it's not good for you. Especially when you come look at something like that's geared towards weight management. So, um, another thing that, um, that could go, I actually have another, I have a couple of, um, items on my notes where it's like, it's a bit of an either way. Now, one of those is like that I do hope that Control does in the future is like have more loca more physical locations like a vitamin shop or whatever <laughs> to have this available to purchase because I know Walgreens have some stuff here and there for a replacement me like meal replacement. As yeah, so I know yeah, Walgreens has it, Walmart has something in, in like for their section. Uh Target, Target a lot of stores have like something like in like in their like in their store somewhere. It's like it's for meal replacements or like whey protein. It's like it would really be beneficial for them for control to be have more availability. So that way, you know, people will be more into more wanting to buy it. So it's like I'm hoping that becomes the case in the future. Oy. Hold on a second. I'm back and I'm dealing with a questionable tripod right now, folks. So, um, bear with me here. So, the, as I was saying, because of availability, I'm really hoping that CTRL does expand to more stores in the future. Meaning, like, places like Target, Walgreens, Walmart, Mariano's, or Kroger. Those place, places where there's an existing, like, section meant for whey protein... We see this on their shelves. Because having like more availability will always be beneficial for people. It's like, hey, this may be for me, this is not for me, this may be too much, this may it's like just the price I'm looking for, so on and so forth. So that's one thing I um I'm hoping to see in the future. And then another thing is that when it comes to like the door being open to like for the direction of the company. This is one of those where it's like, it could go either way. It depends on their decision making. They can make the right choices and they could get bigger. They can make the wrong choices alternatively and they close down. Now, the whole thing with them, with the meal replacement shake going into like single serve size, single like serving sizes, that's actually in the right direction because it's like, you're talking about people don't want to have an entire bag. They may not be able to use it all. So by having the single serving, they have exactly the amount of what they need. Which is especially true if you're in small, small spaces. So it's a bit of a food for thought on that. Now, to reiterate everything, you know, the company, what they have, the good, the bad. Here we go. So, to uh, recap, CTRL or Control, I'm going to be using that interchangeably. It's a relatively new company, a little less than two years in existence. Now, they have their own website and they're having, they're having a growing number of products. It's just a matter of what's right for you. Now, they do have payment plan options both on their website directly along for those in the U.S., I'm not so sure about the other countries, that GNC does have payment plan options available. And you should never, ever, ever feel discouraged when someone tries to tell you to pay in full. They don't know your financial situation. You know yours better than they do. And for the thing on their website, they did mention this is not friendly for vegans. It's friendly for vegetarians. But because of the taste being too sweet, this may not attract those who are diabetics. Especially when you have meal replacement shakes like in the, the equation, along with things like the protein cookies and the meal bars. Now, the fact that they're growing is a, a, a great st step in the right direction. Now, for the direction of the company, I do hope they 
go into like flavors and products where it's friendly towards diabetics, regardless if they're vegan, vegetarian, or not. Now for the scores, now this is a bit of an interesting one because it's like, I have a good reason why I have my scores the way they are. Now the intended audience score, this is going to be a nine and a half out of 10. Now the reason why that is, is because the, and this is where integrity, you know, really helps control here. They do mention that this is not meant for vegans. However, due to their sweetness, if you're diabetic, you may want to steer clear because it's just too sweet. I mean, the only way you can like tackle the sweetness for the meal replacement shakes is to simply use water. It gets the sugar levels down a little bit. It's something I have to try because I've only been using almond milk. But something you want to consider trying was maybe with uh, water instead of almond milk. But to reiterate, like part of the, re the reason for the nine and a half out of 10 for the intended audience is because this may not be friendly for diabetics. Now, another factor in this is like the limited like number, the limited availability is like where you could get it. Which, I mean, understandably, it's kind of new. I can forgive it for now, but if this were a company that's been around for some time, this may not be so forgivable. Now, regarding my personal score, it's actually going to be an 8.5 out of 10. Now, the, I'm taking more points away here because of certain things. The biggest one is that this the product line here is simply too sweet. I mean, there's a certain level of sweetness that people could tolerate, and this is just a little too much for me. Now, another thing is that the fact that this is not friendly towards this vegan, this is like, eh, it's a bit of a turnoff. Now, um, another thing to keep in mind is just like the limited availability of products where it's friendly towards diabetics. That's another reason why. So um, to end this, I am going to simply say I'm going to have the website for the product line in the description below. And remember, if you're in the United States, you could go to a, a GNC if you're near one to get some of the stuff there yourselves. You don't have to worry about like, shipping all that stuff. Like grant, granted, if you're able to get it from the store them, yourself. However, there is that delivery option available if need be. And that I fully support because it's like how you get your items is completely up to you. I mean, you want to go to the store physically to get it? That's perfectly okay. If you want to have it delivered to where you live, that's perfectly okay. You do you. And I support that. And on that note, I'm done with this video. With Wolfie here signing off, I will catch you all on the flip side.